So in order to obtain a single sideband signal, the first method you could use is this phase shift method. And this phase shift method relies on all of the information that we just learned. We use the Hilbert transform, which is the phase shifter, and you, you would require some kind of phase shifter operation that you put into a system to get this single sideband signal. Now, this phase shifting operation is actually, of course, going to be difficult to accomplish in an ideal fashion, right? It's going to have these uh, sharp cutoffs that are not actually realizable. And this is similar to other filters we have seen. Now, however, despite the fact that you can't realize it perfectly, it is possible to make a phase shifter that does a very good job on the higher frequency signals and really only adds the distortion in at the low frequency signals. So this method that we are showing here, this is the phase shift method, and it will work the best when you have signals with very little DC components or very little low frequency components. Uh, and in practice, this does work because a lot of even voice messages don't contain uh, a lot of information at the lowest frequencies. And therefore, the, this one can work in practice. Now, another thing that you could do instead of applying the phase shifting method is to use some kind of a selective frequency filtering method. In this method, you would uh, uh, apply a filter to the modulated system, and that filter, uh, that filtering system, would have as sharp of a cutoff as possible, but would not be perfect. So ideally, you would try to realize a filter that looks exactly like this, cuts off the signal perfectly so that you're left with just the upper or lower bands. Uh, since this isn't possible in practice, instead you would use another filter that has is as sharp of a cutoff as possible uh, near your carrier frequency, but there would still be some dis distortion, especially in this range, right? This range of frequency components would have the most distortion. Again, this is going to have the most distortion for low frequency components. And for voice, this means that it works quite well because voice often uh, doesn't have as many of these low frequency components. I've sort of drawn this here, it made the magnitude a little bit lower. So if you have some distortion in the lowest frequency components of a, a voice baseband message, you can probably use this selective filtering method uh, or this phase shift method, depending on what system you have in place. Now, lastly, you may be interested, of course, in demodulation. So how could you demodulate this? Well, basically any of the systems that we already have could be used to do coherent uh, single sideband demodulator, demodulation. So for example, if you have your single sideband message coming in to our ring modulator, and you apply a cosine at our carrier frequency, right, the same carrier frequency that this has, then just choosing the correct filters, you can demodulate this coherently.